What is all the hype on these tiny houses? We have talked about them for a couple of years on all different ways that we could use them at the farm. You could do a farm stand, you could do a tiny home. What is all the hype with these tiny houses? Everybody's doing tiny houses, shed to houses. We're in one right now and I don't understand what the big deal is. So today we are looking at all the shapes, sizes, colors, and beauty of these little tiny houses. You know the ones that are on the side of the road, on the side of the highway, and you always wanna stop and take a look? Sometimes we do, but we don't get this in depth. Walking around in a couple of these houses, we've already seen so many things that are wrong with them. You'd have to go over it with a fine tooth comb before you even knew it was waterproof. I'm gonna take you into each of these tiny houses here on the side of the road, and I'm gonna show you all the issues that we see with them and what you might need to look for before you think about buying a tiny home. This one here is such a cute color. It's got a cute front porch, good size. You step up into it, you walk in. It's pretty narrow right here, but it does open up to a bigger space. I can see a little kitchen being here. Little kitchen at table right there. It's pre wired a little bit with some outlets. This one does not have a little mini split in it, but there's some of them that do. How's this one look so far as far as construction goes? Mm. I haven't seen anything too crazy in this one. It's got nice little windows. The loft areas are probably more for storage. Yeah. And what I see on this is the way the front door comes in underneath the actual roof structure. That's kind of a waste of square footage, if you ask me. You could do so much more in this space if it didn't have a front porch. So I think it's just all for books. See, they do lots of shims on the doors. This one's had, had some water coming in right oh, here. Yeah. That's a shame. I'd be upset if I bought this. Yeah, and that's nice even under floor. the porch too. I know, so it's crazy. under the porch and I had water coming in. Definitely need to look for that. Yeah, that would be nice for storage. That's about it. You couldn't put a bedroom up there. The same with our, up there. It'd be pretty claustrophobic. Good That'd for storage. For sure. Maybe for a child. Yeah. The color scheme's nice. The windows are nice. Oh, no wonder the door was open. You can't close the door. <laughs> Look. What? Look at the gap up here. Watch, if it was too close. <laughs> it doesn't even fit doesn't in this space. Fit. Do it again. Let me see. It won't close, but if it did, you'd see straight in. <laughs> yeah, it's it, that's pretty bad. It's jacked, isn't it? Yeah. So check the doors when you're looking into tiny homes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, these are just your regular sheds here. The color schemes are really nice though. Yeah, I like that. That's one. nice, gray with red. Well, here's a cute little one. Let's say $9,000, $9,090. Lofted porch. 12 the porch by 24. 12 by 24. Let's see if this door closes. Yeah, let's see. Oh crap, they nailed down the, the wood to keep it open. Huh. Okay. I mean, for being brand new, though, it's going to get all kinds of water damage. Looks like an old door. Yeah, this one isn't pre-wired or anything with electric. But it, it's nice and open, this one. It's yeah. just an actual rectangle. Yeah. You do a little bit more than this because they put the porch the whole width of the actual building. Right. It gives the depth of the loft area. A lot more room. See, they just don't, they're making the the window openings and stuff too wide, in my yeah, opinion. So I mean, see, I'm no builder by you no means. You see all the but, holes? Yeah. Like, that's air and light coming through. And it's just put in like a sleeve, and then they just screw it in. They're very cheap little windows. Right. But who knows? They may do the same thing to our houses. You know, I've never went into it a wood, you know, a stick house and looked as they were building it, but probably the same thing, who knows. The porch is nice. Yeah. 
Is it, it's big enough for like a little chair. Right. Yeah, it is kind of, I mean like, how, like that's gotta be six and a half foot. This is probably less than six foot here. I mean, that's pretty low. But it is a cute porch. All right, I really wanna go on this one. This one is so nice. I do too. The gray is really nice. Oh yeah. Looks like they tried to putty that. And then that's actually a nail head coming out. This panel's pulling away. Oh, that's, that's nice. That's real nice. The shutters are good. That door looks taller than the one we just went in. This one's really cute. Metal roof. Hey, look, the door in this one works. Yeah. But is it? Nope. Look, straight sunlight and shims. It's not airtight. I can feel the wind blowing right now. Look at that. And you'd have to do a lot just to buy one of these. Uh, seriously. To, just to weatherproof it before you can even start building it into a home. Look at that light coming through. So this one has electrical. I like the big, taller ceilings in yeah. there. Makes it feel bigger and open. Oh, yeah. I mean, it really is big. This is really nice on the outside. This one has a mini slit that you're talking about. Yeah. It's really nice. So, I guess that would cool or heat this whole space? I don't know what kind of square footage those are really for. Ooh. What do you think the size is of this building? Because I didn't see any kind of sign about it. I don't know. It's it's good size though. It's probably 16, 18 foot deep, probably. Uh, 45 foot or so wide. Is that old wood that they use up there? Or is it just like just discolored? I don't know. I don't know if it has water damage on it or if it's just dark in these spots. That's something I would not be very happy with. Windows look decent enough. A lot bigger windows. Yeah. I'm seeing sunlight through this light fixture here. See that sunlight coming through? That's just open to the air. Those windows are really nice. Okay, I see sunlight in the roof. Can you see it? Yeah, right there. Right there. Yeah. yeah. How do you get some light coming through on the roof? So, I mean, if there's all these little tiny pieces, then I don't know. I mean, if the quality of construction is not that great just for the shell, I wonder who's putting them together. I don't know. I mean, there's problems with all kinds of things in houses, but whenever it looks like, I mean, there's air, there's air and light again. There, see it? Yeah. Yeah, that's not cool. If these are supposed to be made as houses, why are they putting those vents, those vents in? They put them in both ends. I get it if it's supposed to be a barn, so it, you know, it breathes and it don't get super hot in here, but if you're trying to weather tight it and mm -hmm. heat and cool the area, why would you have that? I don't, I don't. I don't I don't know. I don't know. But it looks like it's just a piece of metal that they just screwed onto the outside. Oh, we yeah. need to go it take is. a look. Oh yeah, it's just a cheap little piece of metal that is screwed on and painted. That's all that is completely open to air, wind, rain. It is just a piece of metal screwed right. around and painted over. Maybe there's some kind of law that is supposed to breathe like that because these are technically barns. You know what I mean? People are making them into houses. That's so. true. Maybe they cover them up. You cover them up when you do that. I don't know. We'll have to talk to old Jason Crocker about that. I'm sure he would know. Overall, I like the build and I like the space in here. Again, I don't like the construction. But you can see all the sunlight through the door. On to the next one. It is a nice color scheme though. Yeah. And I like the top. The elevation in the center part here. Yeah, I really do. Yep. 
transom windows. Now this one, the outside looks like it's lacquered. It does. Does it feel like shellac? It feels like it. Uh, yeah, it does feel like it's been shellac. It's very shiny. The white, the black, and the brown look nice. And see, it's got the elevation on the transom windows again, just like this one, but a lot smaller. Is there a size on that one? Door works. It works right now, yeah. <laughs> See some light up in there. Already, this is very small but cute. They must make them a little wide on purpose so they know the door is going to go in there, and then you just fix it with shim. And then you probably come back and spray foam this or caulk it or something like that. I'm sure they, they probably do that in regular homes too. I don't know. Not a house builder. Not a house builder. But this one is pretty tight. There's a gap there. It's tight. I see side. some daylight right yeah. there. Yeah. In that window. I don't know. I wish they had the sizes and the prices listed on all of these. Right. That loft is cute. This would be cute for like an Airbnb. Like that could be a little kid's loft to put a railing so they can't fall off. Is this the same size over here? Yeah, that'd be cute too. Looks like a shark took a bite out of this piece of wood. See, why would they even use that? I mean, that's, I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to get good wood. I mean, but look at this. I mean, it, it comes from the, the lumber yards like this, you know, and if you scrapped it, all that it would add up you know so you got to use it it's 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 going to get covered up i know anyway if you're going to build it into a house or whatever that's but true. so i think that's the roofing paper you don't you think of it would be sealed like the plywood to the plywood don't you think they want it to be sealed instead of open to the roof like that uh, i don't know, I don't know. i'm not but a that, construction that person like tar paper of some sort because i think this one had a metal roof on it yeah you can tell with the screws going through there. But wonder why I never noticed the tar paper on the other ones. They could have, but they didn't. Smaller gap? They didn't. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah. And you'd think that the, the two facing pieces of wood would be the same size, but instead one is shorter than the other. See where the, all the peaks are? The wood isn't the same size. Well, they used a different size on this raised piece right here. Yeah. But the rest of it is the same size. Uh, I guess whatever works. I guess so. I mean, I kind of feel like I could build something nice on this, and I don't even build right. houses. <laughs> I don't even build, but I would expect a little bit but more. But you can this. understand they probably build this in a day, easy. They they could probably build this in one day. I'm sure. Yeah. That's a couple true. of guys because they're used to doing it. Everything. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they've got it now pat. So. Of course, when they're being built that fast, it's not, the quality is not going to be there. Exactly. There's more? Yeah, there's another one here. It's cute. This, oh, this one has Same. a price. Oh, this one has a price? Does it have a size? Okay, the black and white with the cedar looks really nice. 12 by 32. 12 casita. casita. 12 by 32. So it took a little opening out of the front. I like the black metal roof. Oh, no, it is. But it's got it's got some insulation oh. type stuff on the walls. That looks like the stuff that goes on the inside of the yeah. garage doors, or you put it in your window of your car. Right. Oh, I hate that that's locked. Let's see this. Fifteen thousand for a twelve by thirty-two. I don't think I'd want to pay fifteen thousand dollars for a building. Like this, oh. Yeah, insulated. You know, I remember someone telling me they take repos sometimes and they put them back on their lots. Right. So sometimes they've got a little bit of build out on them. Right. But Usually they say repo or something on them. Oh yeah. This one doesn't say anything. It looks pretty new too. Yeah, I just wonder because of the insulation. Is there any more that are not just a little shed for your lawnmower? I don't know. It's a
$4,550. So $4,550 for a 10 by 12 shed. I just cannot believe the prices of things these days. I really can't. It really is. Oh, repo sale. Huge discount. Look at that. I was just saying that. You think this is a repo? I don't know. See if the doors are open. Oh, $7,500 for a 10 by 24. This is definitely a barn or a shed, though. Yeah. I don't think this would be a home. All you'd have to do is change the door or something. You could paint this. French out. doors or something. Now, this one's got a nice tall ceiling. It doesn't yeah. feel claustrophobic. Right. You can certainly see you doing. You can certainly see this um, becoming like a kitchen area, and then you could do like a bedroom or bathroom and a very small like sitting area. Not too much structure on the roof. No. Not much to this one. What's that? So there's not much to this not one. Not much. But yeah, you're right. You could change the doors. Yeah. Okay, when we pulled in, I wanted to see this one. This is actually one of the reasons why I pulled over here. Because I love this building. I love how tall it is. I love the roof line. I don't mind the color. I think it needs a little more black and cedar on it. But that's all stuff. Is it, is it not open? It's not open. Oh, goodness. Oh, there's somebody's stuff in there. Okay, so here is like little French doors. Okay, this is like a little office. They put some shiplap in there, some wainscoting on the roof. That doesn't look bad at all. That's just this right here. Huh? That's just this on the roof. We use that in a cedar in a cedar color at the feed store. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's right. That's on the roof. And then the shiplap on the walls has a nice stripe. Oh, they put that stuff on the sidewall too. And they did a little laminate floor. Okay, this is cute. The ceiling, the ceiling looks like it's slanted just like the actual ceiling. It yeah. slopes. I like this one. Lights. So it doesn't say a size, price, nothing, huh? I like this one. Do you think you could build that for me? Do you think you could build that for me? I don't know. It's pretty square. There's not a lot yeah, of Yeah, there's like... not a whole lot to it. I like the roof being just like this instead of peaked. Like one slant, yeah. yeah to like me, that would be easier to build. Oh, there's the front. That's cool. I love that. Look how nice that is. It lets a lot of natural light in. That's the only windows. There wasn't any on the sides, was there? Nope, that's just one in the back, back and yeah, the I love that. That's cool. I do like that a lot. All right. Yep. Well, I think I like this one the best, even though we can't get in there and right. see it. But we wouldn't be able to see if any of the workmanship is good or bad because it's already got the it's walls up and the out. ceiling. Yeah, yeah, finished out. It looks pretty nice finished out. Yeah. It looks like it's actually plugged in. Yeah. We have a mini split just like that other one. Yep, here's the outside of it, huh? I wasn't paying attention when we went by at first. It's a big cord. They got it wired for cable or something too. Well, that was fun. I've been wanting yeah. to do that for quite some time. Yeah. I always have all these thoughts and things that we can do, and I always think that the tiny house might be the way to go, but I'm just not quite sure on the construction. Right. You need to be a, a big builder guy. Big builder guy? Yeah. And you need to do the math on the materials it takes to build one and see you know, how much it's marked up by them building it. Yeah. I mean, labor's worth a lot. Right. But true. if the materials are only like 50% of it and you can take your time doing yeah. it instead of doing it like on, on a manufacturer row just a day, every single day, right. doing one or two. But I mean, if you have the time to do it, it might be worth it. Plus you can put those like little special touches on it. Colors, windows, yes. things like that. And but doing it yourself, you get a lot of gratification too. It's true. When it's done, you're like, I built that. <laughs> <laughs> my baby built that. My baby, my love. baby, my baby love, my baby love. 
Guys, thank you so much for watching today. Thanks for coming along with us. I've been wanting to do this for quite some time and we just happened to drive by and I said, let's, let's stop in there and take a look. But if you like what you're seeing, if you like our videos, go ahead and give us a little heart down in the comments. I wanna see all your little hearts. Let us know that you're watching. If you haven't already, hit subscribe, hit the like button, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.